Team of meteorologists determined this tornado hit eight minutes after the warning was issued. The National Weather Service says it struck from the Chesapeake Bay at the southwest section of the campground. It came through the campground then headed back southeast, tearing apart another section of the camp. Chief meteorologist Don Slater is here, and Don, eight minutes, that's not a lot of lead time. No, it's not a huge amount of lead time. The average across the country for tornado lead time uh, since the advent of Doppler radar is about 13 minutes. Uh, so that was uh, quite a bit shorter time, uh, and it was just as it was making its way on shore toward the campground. In fact, you can see the extremely uh, rapid development as this storm really, really turned purple on the radar right as it hit shore. Uh, so it really, really intensified rapidly. Watch it. Boom, there it is, moving on through the eastern shore. And we have what's been going on with the storm, what happened with that storm. Uh, there is the path of that tornado. It was an EF1 with 100 mile an hour winds, 150. 50 mile uh, yards wide and an eight mile path from offshore through the campground across Highway 13 and to the other side. Uh, in addition to that, in addition to the absolute destruction of the tornado, there was large hail between that line and this other blue line. That's where we saw hail a little bit larger than golf ball size and wind damage, straight line wind damage to the south of the tornado extended from there all the way on down to the north end of Cape Charles. So again, very very, very nasty uh, situation and almost unheard of when you have this kind of thing uh, during the morning hours along the eastern shore. It's just a wild, wild situation. 